Okay, in this video, we are going to learn about rational exponents. What does that mean? So, you see how it says rational exponents? What are rational exponents? Rational exponents are... Well, what does the word rational mean? Rational means fraction form, right? When we have a rational number, we know that we can write it as p over q. So a rational number is anything that can be written as a fraction. So a rational exponent is a fraction exponent. That is it. So there is radical form and there is exponential form. What does that mean? Radical form is it has a radical in it and exponential form has an exponent in it, no radical. And this is the way that it is written. A radical, so let's say you have the blank root of some base to a specific power, right? Whatever it is. So like, for example, if I had the third root of x squared, right? I have a root and I have a power. The way that this is written is you keep the same base, but it is a power over a root. How do you remember this? Well, the power stays as the power. It stays on top. Power is on top. The root, like the root of a tree, stays on the bottom. So always remember, the root stays on the bottom. So it is always going to be power over root. So for here, the power is 2, and the root, the index, is 3. So it is the exponent and then the index power over root. So let's try a few of these. Let's put, these are in radical form. We have to put them in exponential form. Exponential form, this is going to have the same base. It is going to be power over root. Power is the seven and the root is the three. That is it. What about this one? Same base, x to the power over root 3 over 5. Okay, let's try this other one. Well, what is the index here? What is the index that we don't see? Well, that's a 2. So it's going to be three different bases. So we're going to have x to the 3 over 2. We're going to have y to the 5 over 2 and z to the 1 over 2. Or you could also write it as all of these, right? You have x cubed, y to the fifth, z to the, these are all to the first power, right? So it would be to the one half. Both of these are considered correct. What about the other way around? Write in radical form. So radical form, we have a to the two-thirds. Here is my power. Remember, it's power over root. So I'm going to write my radical. My root is 3, so it is a cube root of a, same base, squared. There's my power. Power, root. Next one. Where's my radical? My radical's here. Now, these have the same root. So we can write it in one radical. If they had two different roots, you'd have to write them as two separate radicals, right? So my root is 2, which you don't have to write, but we're going to write it for now. And it would be x to the first and y to the third. So just to write it as a simpler way, it would be the square root of x, y, q. And last but not least, this one is all of this raised to the one-third power. So what is the one-third power? Well, what is my root? My root is three. So it's going to be the cube root of all of these raised to the first power, which is just itself. So it would be a squared, b cubed, c to the so that is just going from radical and exponential form. 